Hello shooters, thanks for watching Tire and Channel. Today we're going to talk about the accuracy and velocity we're getting out of this uh, Scorpion Evo made by CZ. It's a pretty accurate little gun. Uh, I had some technical difficulties while I was up at the range, so I don't have any video of actually shooting the target um, or of the chronographing that we did. But you know, it is what it is. I recorded it, and we brought the uh, we brought the target home. I'll show that to you in just a sec. But uh, we decided to go with uh, Federal HST 124 grain plus P ammo. By looking at a whole bunch of online resources, it's pretty much a wash in a handgun, whether you carry the plus P or whether you carry the standard pressure. But for something like this, where you're going to reach out uh, a lot farther than a typical handgun, that extra velocity boost can help extend the range so that's why I went with the plus P I wouldn't carry plus P in a handgun but in something like this it makes an absolute absolute sense to carry plus P because it extends your range quite a bit so let's do a tabletop review on the velocity and the uh, the group we got the velocity we're getting out of that scorpion with the HST plus P I mean because it's got an 80 inch barrel it you really get that velocity boost because of the extra barrel length. It gives that powder longer to act upon the bullet to get the velocity up. And as you can see, we're getting, you know, 357 Magnum uh, velocity out of the 9mm plus P at 10 yards, 20 yards, 30 yards. At 90 yards, we're getting the exact same velocity that I get plus P out of, that, out of my shield. Um... And it slows down, you know, a little teeny bit at 100, but it's still the same velocity as standard pressure, 124 grain uh, out of my shield. And at 160 yards, which is what we have decided will be the upper end of the range for the CZ Evo, still faster than the Federal HST 147 grain out of the shield. And it works out so that at 160 yards, I'm about four, five inches low from the point of aim. So at a man-sized target, you know, you aim with the upper center chest, you're still going to get a, you're still going to get a torso hit out to 160 yards with the 9 millimeter Evo if you're, if you're pushing plus P because of the extra velocity boost there. Now let's look at the group that we got at 25 yards. Here is the group that we got at 25. This is a five-shot group. My zero is at 22 yards. So at 25, it, we want it to be a little bit a little bit high there. Here is a picture of the close-up. Here's the five shots. We're, we've got a three-quarter inch group at 25 yards with the Federal HST Plus P out of the Scorpion. Uh, that equates to a two point, you know, two and three-quarter MOA. So out at 100 yards with the Scorpion, we're still getting two and three-quarter MOA. Out at uh, 160 yards, we're probably looking at four inches, which is, you know, great for a, a little gun like that. So um, we think the HST plus P is an excellent choice for this regarding velocity and also regarding accuracy. There you have it, folks. You get in 357 Magnum level ballistics out of this little, this little thing. And it's pretty dang accurate, uh, considering it's got such a short barrel and all that. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate the comments. Please post any comments or questions below. And as always... Ensure that your training and your practice is preparing you for the real world. Your real world. And not for the fantasy land of the shooting range. And have a nice day.